Hey guys, what's up? Angry Australian guy here today. Today I'm going to be doing sort of a rust, how to serve your first night sort of thing. But I'm also going to be giving a bit of background on the game itself. Now, Rust is a survival indie game released on Alpha in December 11th, 2013 using the Unity engine made by Face Punch Studios, also known as the people who created Gary's Mod. And within the first two months, it sold one million copies as a early release game. Now, when you spawn into Rust, what you'll have is a rock, two bandages, and a torch with 250 seconds. Now, I can't currently see my food, so I may be slightly higher than it should be. You start with around 1,500, but I've actually played on the server before and I didn't fancy suiciding, so. Um, you'll spawn somewhere random on Rust and what I um, suggest doing is slowly making your way towards hangar and there will be a second here where there will be a map with where hangar is. In on screen now. So on Rust the first thing you really need to do is to establish where you are. Now, if you can see a coastline, that's brilliant. That's the south. So that means that, that way is north. That way is east. And that way is west. So you need to establish where you are and try and get uh, grips to where you need to be going to get to hangar. Now, I already know where hangar is because I've been playing this game a little while, but say if I didn't know where it was, I would first thing I'd actually do is get some get some wood now you can, you can mine it off trees or you can find these little wood piles like these found randomly generated there's another one over there just in case you can't see we, they'll be randomly generated in sort of wood, not wood, uh, plain areas. Um, so you'd harvest these and you get seven wood each time, every hit. And then at the end, you, you can harvest a few more and a lot faster with an actual hatchet. We don't have one of those just yet. So we're using this rock. Now, from this we've already got 76 wood, which is a pretty decent start. Now what I'm going to do is try and find some, like a stone, there's one, on screen just in front of me. I'll do that so I can make a hatchet. Now what a hatchet is, is it's like a rook, more effective, does more damage, and it's just more efficient really. Hello dear. Move. Really? Here. Actually, this is this is awesome. So yeah, you want to be killing wildlife um, anyway, because you need to be getting these raw chicken breasts, which you can cook to increase your food levels. But for the first day in Rust, you want to have about five chicken breasts, and you also want to be making a hatchet and a little shack, as I call them. Can't remember what they actually are. Wooden shelter. Which is 50, which we've already accomplished. We've pretty much accomplished the first day in Rust. But we also need to be making a wooden door, which is slightly more, which I believe is down here. Where is it? No? Is it up here? We want to be making a workbench as well, which is why we're also getting stones. But we need five to get one of those. There you go. Uh. Why can I not find a wood door? <laughs> I was pretty sure they're down here. I'll be back when I find where a wood door is. It's probably right in front of me. Okay guys, so it turns out it was literally right above the wood shelter, which I looked at. Um, but there's 30 wood, and this is 50, and then a campfire is 5, and then you also need a workbench which is 50. So you want to be aiming about 150 
of the wood, which is actually pretty easy. It's just two of those. And you want to be aiming for about 10 to 20 stands. So I'll come back when I've got there. So right now I'm just going to quickly craft a wooden, I mean stone hatchet so you know what it looks like. So you click on the stone hatchet, select how many you want, beyond you want one. And you craft and it say how long down here you're crafting for and you move slowly whilst crafting, you cannot sprint. Um, and if you ever need to cancel something you're crafting, you can just click where the craft button was and it will cancel. As the craft finishes, it will pop up into your inventory, as you can see here. And now we have the use of a stone hatchet. As you can see, it's a lot faster. You still get the same amount with a stone hatchet, but with an actual hatchet you'll get 10, and with a pickaxe you'll get 20. But it's a lot more efficient than the stone, or the rock rather, the rock. Um, also, as I can just show you now, as new player, you may see these red animals. Oh my god, didn't mean to aggro it. As new player, you want to be staying away from these because there's a chance you can kill them. By this, I mean if you're completely new. As a more experienced player, you can actually kill them pretty easily. You little hacker. I've frozen. Oh my god. So I want to use one of my bandages here to stop my bleeding, but you want to be staying away from those, really. I'll be back when I've lost him. Hey guys, so I've been doing my gathering and as you can see I've got 26 stones and 221 wood. Now, honestly, if you've got some daylight left, you want to be getting as much resources in that time as you can without being killed by another player. And I heard gunshots over there, and so I'm just going to run away, because just in case it isn't someone I know on the server. And the thing I'll craft first is actually a wooden door, just so that I don't accidentally... Um, place down my shelter and then get killed by someone because I find that really annoying but that takes 30 seconds so I'll be right back hey guys I'm back just to quickly show you something you ever see someone like this on the floor um, that means they're logged off whilst not in a safe position so you can just go ahead and kill these and they should drop a backpack if he wants to die there we go drop a backpack with stuff now you can take this normally it won't be a you know, sort of good equipped player logging off in a position like that but it's always nice to just get a little bit of resources to help you out like another torch is always appreciated as a new guy but anyway with, with the base since I've crafted it what I'll try and do is try and find a sort of a nice little secluded area uh, sometime, yeah like that, that building which I think doesn't have a door, no I would take this normally but this is showing you how to survive. Like if you can take a base like this and just put your own door on it, go ahead. No, it doesn't have anything. But I would find a nice sort of secluded place, normally in mountains or something. And that's where I place my base. So I'll be right back. Oh wait, no, maybe, maybe not. I might place it here, if I can, if the game will allow me. Freeze. One second. Oh wait, no, there we go. So yeah, I'd sort of place it sort of, if I can, I don't want it there, people can throw grenades on, and there we go, then what you want to do is place your workbench down inside, try and make everything fit nicely, and then go ahead and put your door on your shack, I don't think, come on, why won't it let me, oh my god, be right back guys, Alright, so I finally got the door on it. It was because it was in an awkward position. But if you're playing with more than one person and you want to share this shack with someone, change the lock to a number that you can then tell your friend. Your friend then types in that card and boom, they can then also use that door. Now you have successfully survived your first day in Rust if you've got this stage. If you, um,. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up. Angry Australian guy, you must be stupid or retarded because liking and thumbsing up is the same thing. Oi, piss off, nobody cares. And the next sort of video in this series will be on how to start doing your second days and getting more resources and how to follow on this sort of video. But thank you for watching. It's been, you've been with Angry Australian Guy. No raid video today. No swearing at all, I don't think. But I hope you enjoyed. 
please like, subscribe, comment, and tell your friends about me. I really want to grow. I do enjoy doing YouTube. But I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out. You just got trolled. This isn't the end of their video. Keep watching, guys. Thank you. Just as a quick thing as well that I forgot to add in the video. If you uh, need to cook your food, what you need to do is you need to make a campfire, which requires five wood. And it will also have the five wood back inside the campfire when you start it so you don't need to use additional wood. If you've got about five chicken breasts, um, then you can use these with the five wood and you've got like five food sources. But this is also quite essential to your first day. I forgot to mention it in the video. So what you do is get your fireplace. Now try and make this a little bit compact. There you go. And then open by holding down E, putting it in there and it will start cooking. When it's on, and to turn it on and off, you use E. And then to get inside, you hold E, which will bring up an option menu, then you click open. That's another thing to do within your first day of playing Rust. Also, if you're completely new to a server and you really want help and you can't find anything, you can always just say, Hey guys, I'm new. Please can someone help me. Thanks a lot. Um, now some people will help you, but some people will kill you. So just be careful with that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Guys, just as a little announcement, I know I do these too often on the end of videos, but if I reach 25 subscribers, in the next two weeks I'll be giving away a Steam game, which will most likely be Rust or Goat Simulator. The person who wins gets the choice, and you'll be able to join me on my new Steam, uh, not Steam, uh, Rust server, which I bought today. And hopefully we shall be able to have some fun time together. So please share my channel. Give me 25 subs. We're doing. I'll post a video that will be titled uh, Rust Giveaway or Giveaway. And all you have to do is comment and uh, like that video. And I'll be randomly picking a uh, winner from that. So please guys, give me 25 subs. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, thank you for subscribing. It really does mean a lot, guys.